Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, yet another one on uh, looking at the stock market uh, agency book from a number of years ago and trying to figure out what, uh, what general concepts and categories might be good to photograph for stock that would actually be in demand and actually make some money on. Um, so moving on to um, for this time, which are perhaps the, uh, a lot of them I think have been fairly useful. These are perhaps the four most useless out of the book. Um, to begin with, uh, maps. And I, I don't think maps is uh, a category more thanks to all the satellite imaging we have. And that if uh, these are mostly like satellite views, topography kind of views of the, of the Earth. And I think you just, you know, go to Google Satellite and get it now, um, or, or Google Earth and get it. Uh, so I think it's, it's an obsolete category. Uh, it was a very specialized category, I'm sure, to start with. Uh, the next one is, um, it was about four pages. They had dedicated that one. Uh, right now, is, I've got concepts, that's 16 pages. Sports, there's 18 pages. And health and fitness, it's 10 pages. Uh, concepts um, uh, is the idea or. So they're, you're looking at, a, at an idea. Um, and the, the, the idea, the concept of doing a concept is still good. The, one of the things with concepts is usually it's playing upon uh, current uh, consciousness uh, of, the, uh, of the culture or environment you're in. Uh, it broadens with global, but a lot of it's local, what, what, uh, what your worldview is and your uh, concept or your perception of the world uh, affects it a lot because you will use a great deal of symbolism in it. And that symbolism often is only what, what your local tribe understands and doesn't apply to too much further. It also becomes dated very quickly. So a lot of the stuff that was uh, appropriate and probably useful and probably the, the neat stuff uh, back when this uh, book was put out um, really doesn't mean anything to us anymore. Uh, our consciousness has moved on. And so um, it just the basis of the, of the idea, I look at some of these now and I look at it and say, what the heck is that supposed to mean? Um, I'm sure at the time I would have picked it up more because it was, it was common knowledge. It was going through the, the general consciousness, but not anymore. Uh, a lot of also represents, again, that early days of, of Photoshop and putting together images together in Photoshop. This has got a lot of the stuff that was uh, that we consider bad Photoshop work now. Uh, things not blended, uh, things that just really look like you cut something out of magazines and you glued them together. Um, and that's kind of the level where it's at. Um, <clears throat> Use a lot of bright colors back then. Uh, a lot of chess sets. And I don't think chess sets in the general consciousness as it was. Um, they're using clocks, you know, and we're all kind of using digital stuff now. So I don't think it carries the, uh, just those ideas don't carry over very well now. We're going to be uh, looking at our, our things that represent time in a different fashion now. So most of this section is, is obsolete. The concept is good. But that's going to be a current one that has to be re, um, redone, freshened up on a regular basis as, uh, as the consciousness, if you're looking at the United States, the consciousness of the United States uh, continues to move, evolve, and change to be relevant. And in some ways it has to be just kind of the leading edge of it or hopefully maybe just a little bit as a leader ahead on it. And so uh, category good, um, ideas out of the book, not there. Uh, the other one that came in uh, was sports. And so it's, is it play or is it business? Uh, do you do it or do you watch it? Again, 18 pages. Um, it mixed competitive sports with recreation fitness. So I thought the whole category is rather confusing. Um, we have a very, much more distinct line 
which I think we did back then. I just don't think they had somebody who understood what the lines were, what wasn't brought up in that, that environment. Um, so there's a difference between competitive sports and what happens in that. There's a difference when you go to recreation and what happens within that. Another one, when you're really off on, on fitness. And they were kind of blending them a lot together, which made it rather confusing as a category to think about. Now, obviously today, sports, still really big. We're going to break that out with professional sports, uh, with different team sports. Um, I mean, you got, uh, rec um, you got amateur sports. I mean, there's a whole line of sports. You've got your, your, uh, uh, your big three, which are going to be top ones, and then you have your minor sports. Again, most of it looked pretty fakey, pretty staged what was in there. Um, to give an idea, their big thing was rollerblading. Now, obviously at the time, uh, rollerblade was a big fad. Um, it kind of played with a lot of stuff. They had contemporary, going to do rollerblade. More like today, you need to look at what the current uh, current trend is. Is it one of those one-wheelie things you're going around on? Again, I don't know if that's a real sport, um, doing that. Uh, again, it's not a competitive sport. Um, so it, it, So their section, again, sport's good. What they had, I don't think it was going to teach many lessons. So again, very weak on, on, on drawing anything for, from what they had. Um, health and fitness. Um, let's see, uh, we still haven't gotten the message. Uh, you know, it's, it's where I live. So health and fitness, we still have got this uh, kind of a great divide between the couch potatoes and the people who are, are actively trying to stay fit, take care of the, the, enjoy the benefits from the health and fitness side. Um, this era, they're basically, we're showing yoga, walking, rollerblade, and free weights. Well, fitness, I think the image of that of what people are doing for fitness uh, has has evolved and changed. Obviously, yoga, walking is still there. Uh, rollerblades out. A lot more people are working on machines if they're if they're doing weight training, um, and it's expanded out. You got spinning. You got all kind of other other things going on with it. Um, Pilates classes, all these other other things doing. Um, so what they had there uh, is kind of left behind and, and dated on it. Um, the and of course it's all staged. Perfect people of which everyone in there is in shape. So the idea that fat people can't do health and fitness, with in fact, that's the kind of the, some of the key area is to get people who are trying to transition and to understand that, that they, they need to work on that and do that. So the section is, is pretty dated. Um, uh, this shape and fitness side, uh, I'm involved in all the time because we do Mazama rambles. And I lead that. Um, I got a long sports background, and I don't think these categories. I think the the notions if we photograph health and fitness. You need to look at what's going on today. Um, if you want to look at something, as I was looking in here, saying realizing how much they missed the mark, that was the most I took took away from it was to go through and say. Um, they don't get it. Uh, there's a there's a different understanding on it today, and that's what I'd, I want to photograph. So I'm going to be working with a mature market, and I'm going to be uh, working with them with their activities they're doing, again, in a recreational format. So it's, it's going to be uh, not strictly fitness, but fitness. The best way to get fit is if you're just having a, heck of a good time doing it. And so if we got people out snowshoeing, um, they're getting a good good fitness workout in, but they don't know it. They're having a good time. When we're doing conditioning walks, um, they're talking and yapping the whole time. They're uh, being aerobic exercise, occasionally take them anaerobic, good time with it. Uh, that's, that's more contemporary. That's part of what we're going for. Uh, obviously, all the clubs are a big thing. You know, all the all the um, all the fitness centers seems to be a place people are gravitating to. Um, you've got a, a lot of opportunities with with in those areas to try to capture that and put that up because those would be images 
that could be used in a lot of ways, both for magazine articles, if you can get a commercial release, possibility for that. Um, uh, you know, if you get model releases, uh, property releases, uh, which would work well. But again, as I'm kind of getting to the end of the book here, I'm finding the, uh, uh, they were kind of losing it. <laughs> and so, uh, so the first part of the book, I thought that was pretty good. Uh, so anyways, there's, there's four, um, that, uh, one, one category completely gone. The other three have to look at new today. Uh, not going to be drawing money lessons from, from the past on it. So that concludes this one. And I thank you for watching.